Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel where we talk about things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. If you enjoyed the top 10 Yamcha moments video I made last year, I'm sure this will be quite the entertaining video for you. Yamcha has finally got some good amount of screen time in the latest episodes of Dragon Ball Super. Quite the surprise to be honest as it looks like Goku and Vegeta are the main protagonists of the series. But hey, one episode is more than enough for me, especially seeing how great that baseball game against the team from Universe 6 was. But anyways, let's begin with the list. Number 10. Yamcha was once a man that just couldn't manage to be anywhere near beautiful women. But throughout the Dragon Ball series, he started to get over his fear of being awkward and nervous around them. Lucky for him, Bulma thought he was very attractive and ended up dating him. But according to Future Trunks, Bulma broke up with Yamcha because after he managed to get over his fear of being around beautiful women, he was no longer shy around her and this turned Yamcha into a playboy, which that's not the attraction Bulma had for him. So Yamcha ended up getting over his fear of women, but that costed his relationship with Bulma. Number 9. After Bulma broke up with Yamcha, he actually ended up getting a girlfriend, but even though we never got to see her, if you remember after Cell was defeated and Shenron was summoned, Yamcha joked about using a wish to get a necklace for his girlfriend. And till today, in Dragon Ball Super, there is no mention of whatever happened to that new girlfriend of his. Number 8. Yamcha and Gohan have quite the similarities. They both shared the same hairstyles throughout the series. The other similarity being that Gohan and Yamcha were once known as main protagonists of the series, who continued their training to take on the next toughest opponents, and both have no longer become main characters for Dragon Ball Super. For now. Number 7. The symbol on Yamcha's outfit from his first appearance does not stand for a previous martial arts teacher like every other symbol the Z Fighters received throughout the series, but instead it stands for comfort or easy, meaning that he just likes to relax and be comfortable. Number 6. In Dragon Ball Fusions, there is a quest to help Yamcha get his revenge against the Cybermen, and once he finds the Cybermen, they end up fusing and bringing out the Cyber King. Luckily, with the help of the player and his teammates or her teammates, Yamcha gets what he's always wanted, to defeat the Cybermen and earn the respect he deserved. Number 5. The DBZ community seems to have shown so much hate for Yamcha throughout the years that even the Dragon Ball Z game Dokkan Battle made an April Fool's joke of Yamcha where if you want to Dokkan awaken him, he will change into his deadline corpse from the Cyberman self-destruct move. If you do Dokkan awaken him though, he won't be able to be of any use as he will always get taken down in the first hit. Number 4. In Dragon Ball SD, the seventh chapter concentrates on the time Goku met Yamcha. If you remember in both the manga and the anime, Yamcha tries to sneak into their mobile home to steal the Dragon Balls, but once he takes a peek at what they're doing, he sees Bulma naked taking a shower. Only here, it's not only Bulma, but Chi Chi as well. Looks like Yamcha is the only man to see both Goku and Vegeta's wives fully naked at one point. Number 3. If you play Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi Tag Team, and team up Yamcha with the Cybermen, they'll have a special quote. Now, it's pretty hilarious. Watch. <laughs> Teaming up with you. Number 2. In Dragon Ball Kai Ultimate Butoden, there are several what if scenarios for Yamcha, but apparently Japan also likes to make fun of Yamcha because in all of his what if scenarios, he dies. Not just that, they throw him in with extremely tough opponents, and instead of playing as Yamcha and defeating the opponents, you play as the opponents and have to defeat Yamcha. Damn, that's fucked up. Number 1. This is probably the funniest fact of them all. In the special manga known as Dragon Ball SD, in Chapter 8, it concentrates on the moment Goku, Bulma, and Oolong met Yamcha. Also, Chi Chi ends up being here, so she meets him as well. Now, here's the funny part. Goku and Yamcha fight. Yamcha performs his Wolf Fang Fist and knocks Goku away. Oolong demonstrates that he can transform into anything and Chi Chi tells him to help Goku and transform into something strong to fight against Yamcha. Ironically, Oolong transforms into a Cyberman. Oolong's excuse for turning into a Cyberman was because he said that all he did was think about beating Yamcha and that's what he ended up turning into. Yamcha then sees Oolong as a Cyberman and coincidentally collapsed into the same position he had as a deadline corpse. Even Yamcha has no explanation of why he collapsed after seeing the Cyberman. And here's a bonus fact. I'd like to mention that it appears that Yamcha's birthday is the same month and day as my birthday. March 20th. Major coincidence. Not my reason why I've always loved this character, but hey, that's awesome in my book. 
And with that said, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please leave a like, share with others, and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to notify you of every new video that gets uploaded to this channel. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, check out the link in the description. Anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow, and remember to have an awesome day.